viewers, welcome to our channel. This video we are going to have a look at this transmission and we are going to take apart the differential of this rickshaw. We will show you how it operates and uh, also we will look at the speed gears. Stay tuned. Here is the clutch. This is the clutch. Here we have the crankshaft. This is the oil pump. And here we have the gear selector. So gear selection will be done by this actuation. When this actuates this mechanism, look, this is how gear is selected. So by moving this in and out, by moving this in and out, gears will be selected. When this is moving in this horizontal direction, it will bring the star that connects the shaft to the speed gears to the consecutive gears. First gear, further this position, first gear, second, and the like. So this is how gear is selected. So the gear selection mechanism is activated by a cable here. This mechanism is for hand crank. This is a for cranking the engine. And here is the main transmission. This is the output shaft. Here we have the input shaft that receives power from the clutch shaft. It comes actually from the clutch. Right here you can see, this is where the clutch is engaged. This goes to the clutch in such a manner. So this is an input from the clutch. So this is a shaft that is coming from the clutch. And this, this gear will be connected to this speed gear. So when this is driving this and power is taken from this gear, that will be first gear. This will be inserted in such a manner. So this will be inserted in such a manner. This is the shaft that is coming from the clutch. We call it the input. So we can call this the input shaft. So when this gear is driving this and the power is taken from this gear, that will be first gear. And we have these counter gears. This will be connected to this supply. In such a manner so so when this smaller gear is driving the larger gear that will be first gear when this is driving this gear and power is taken from this gear that will be second gear when this is driving third when this is driving fourth gear so these are the four forward speeds and depending on the position of the transmission gearbox final assembly final drive it could be driven either in reverse or in forward direction. So these are the four speed gears and these are the four counter gears that are connected directly to the clutch. This one, it will go to the final drive assembly and it will be connected to the differential via a couple of gears. So this is speed gear this is the input this receives from the clutch so it will drive this this is the output shaft there is a star connector when the star is connecting this to this gear we have this speed and when that star is connecting this gear to the shaft we have another speed so that is how it operates so it's driven in such a manner This is how it is connected. This one receives power directly from the clutch shaft. So these are the speed gears. This is the output shaft. Gear selection is done by dragging this. So when this is pulled to that side, the star connector, we have a star in here, to join this gear turn by turn.
See, there is a spline. This goes to the drive axle. Now we have to remove all the surrounding nuts. Then we take it apart. Moment of truth. So is that pin is it? Pin pin. So this is a differential guys, let's have a closer look. Here we have the ring gear and we have the planetary gears. This goes to the output, this goes to the wheel and there is another side gear that is connected to a similar spline shaft that goes to the other side gear. This gear actually receives power from the transmission output shaft. So this is how it is connected. This is the output output shaft from the gearbox. It's connected to the differential through this assembly. So let's have a look at the principle of operation. Look, this is a transmission output shaft that comes from the gearbox. I have showed you earlier. And on this end, it will drive the speedometer. And this is an idler gear. It has two gears, and this is the final drive, the differential ring gear. So now power is flowing from the shaft to this gear, from this gear to this, and from this to the differential. This is when the rickshaw is driven in forward direction. So see, there is a slight variation from that of the vehicle. Some variation is there when this idler gear is involved, we are selecting the forward speeds. Now let's see what will happen when reverse is selected. Now when it is turning, it is turning in one direction. Then when you move this gear and engage it directly to the ring gear, there will be change of direction. Let's see how that is done. See when this spring loaded linkage is activated, that gear will come out. And now the gear is directly engaged to the ring gear. So power flow from the shaft to the gear and directly to the ring gear. Previously, there was an idler gear that was involved. When it is released, it will get back to the original position. Look. So this is how power is transmitted. So this is the final drive and the differential assembly.